Hey friends, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to answer one of the questions that somebody sent on one of my videos about the Google Pixel phones. They wanted to see a bit more about the widgets and the different widget options, tools, etc. Just all things widgets. So I'm going to be taking you through that in today's video. I am going to be sharing my phone screen. And I did also hear some feedback that some people wanted to see the actual phone, like me actually swiping through the phone as opposed to seeing like a recording of it. So I'm gonna actually attempt to do both because I do know that it might not be 100% clear on the camera when I'm just like live scrolling through it. So hopefully both options will be helpful to whoever finds it the most helpful. If you have any questions by the end of it, definitely let me know in the comments, but let's get right into it. Hey friends, coming on for one last update on Magic Mind, which is the matcha-based energy drink that I have been taking alongside my morning coffee every single day for the past two and a half or about three weeks. I have to say, this stuff is really, really good. Not only is it absolutely delicious, and I'm actually surprised because usually I don't like the taste of little shots like this, but this one's really yummy, but it also has really great lasting effects it's subtle but it's effective and that's what I love so much about it so do recommend if you want to try it out for yourself I do have a discount to share with you it's gonna be in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out but thank you magic mind for sending me a pack of this to try out all right friends so this is what it looks like live on my phone like I said it's not the perfect quality but I will put a screen recording right next to it so hopefully that is helpful but this is just a blank screen like I swiped over and created a brand new screen so that I can kind of play around with all of the widgets on this one blank screen. Uh, I have something at the top there, as you can see, that's Notion. I don't know if you can see that actually, but um, yeah, that's pretty much Notion. I wanted to put an icon there for a for an app because there are actually some options in the Google Pixel phones where you can create widgets straight from that app preview. So I'm just going to hold down on it. And as you can see, some things come up. There's things such as new page, pin page, and then widgets. We're only focusing on the widgets today. So I'm just going to click on that. And as you can see, different widget options come up, which is pretty cool. You can drag it right from that menu and it will create a widget. It <laughs> did not work there, I think, because my um, my Notion needs to be synced up. I don't think I've synced it in a while, but essentially it would create a widget from that, and you can do that with different apps. It's not just Notion. I just use Notion as an example, and clearly it <laughs> failed. But aside from using that capability, you can just hold on to the screen, and a menu will just pop up. And as you can see right there, it says widgets. I'm going to click on that. And you can see there are tons of widget options based on the compatibility from your phone's apps. So not all apps are going to have widgets, but this menu will tell you exactly which apps do have widgets. I'm not going through every single one of these. That would just be insane. And some of them will likely pop up some like personal information, but I did want to show you what the menu looks like. And as you can see, there's a search bar at the top. So if you have like a ton such as myself, you can quickly search it. There are some like suggestions. I don't know where the suggestions actually come from. Perhaps that's from like your most used app and WhatsApp is probably my most used app. That's pretty accurate. But um, yeah, there's a suggestion there and then there are all of the different options so I'm gonna click into a couple of them so you can kind of see that let's go with something a little less invasive perhaps Duolingo so I'm just clicking this drop down menu on the corner and as you can see Duolingo has one widget available if you were to look at other widgets maybe like Fitbit you can see there are multiple widget options so you can get really customizable here it all depends and some of them are really small widgets some of them are really big so let's start with Duolingo and we're gonna hold on to this button over here that is previewed and then it'll just pop up like this and you drag it to wherever you want on the screen so I'm gonna put it in the top corner and as you can see that's what the widget looks like I'm assuming that this is like your a uh, streak <laughs> and my streak is zero i have not done well with this goal this year but um it's not a serious goal for me so that's okay but yeah that's one widget now i'm gonna go back into the menu i'm gonna go down to the fitbit one 
and I'm gonna click on something that's a little bit smaller. So this one says Fitbit Quick Access Widget. I'm gonna hold on to that and I'm just gonna put it down somewhere. And oh, look, this one actually gave you extra options to choose from. So some widgets will be able to do that. It will actually like gather data based off of what you want the most. So let's see, I will do something such as log water. So now it kind of looks like the size of an app if you look at it compared to the size of the Notion app preview. So it's very small, but it's specific to logging water. So that is helpful if that is something that is of value to you. But let's go back into the options here and let's see if we can get something that is a lot larger. Um, perhaps Google News. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely going to work. So it actually shows you the dimensions right there at the bottom, four by two. If we looked at Google Fi, it says two by two. So it's actually giving you size previews by, I don't know, the grid on the phone itself. So if that's helpful to you, absolutely go for that tool there. But I'm gonna hold on to this as well. And as you can see, it's taking up a lot of space on my screen. I'm gonna put it at the bottom and it's gonna generate some news articles that are applicable to me. I'm not sure why it's not doing it quite yet. Maybe I have to click into it. Okay, let's see if that worked. There we go. Just needed a refresh, which is probably what happened with the Notion. I needed to go into the app and refresh it, but there you go. That's a preview of a news article right there because I clicked into Google News. And now let's see what else we can actually click into. I'm sorry if my hand is like really shaky. You can actually see me in the reflection there. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually extending my hand a lot further than you would think. So it's kind of making my hand hurt. Anyway, uh, let's see. What about TikTok? It looks like TikTok has a lot of different widget options. That's pretty cool. A bunch of different sizes. I like when apps have a variety of widgets to choose from. My personal favorite is actually Google Keep, Keep Notes. So as you can see, these are really, really functional widgets. I love a functional widget. So I only use widgets when they are super functional, which is why if you've seen my other videos where I talk about like what's on my phone, you'll only see maybe two, three widgets total because I go for the ones that are super functional and I can actually see a lot of data right there on the screen without needing to click into it. Otherwise I would just click into it. You know what I mean? Click into the app. But here you go, those are some options. I'm not gonna put this on my screen because I think it might show up some personal data, but let's try this one. Gosh, this one's fun. Yeah, it's definitely gonna show some personal information there, so I'm not going to proceed with that one. But it pretty much goes the same for all of the apps. You can move things around, you can resize things. Let's see if I can click onto something that will allow me to resize it. Perhaps this one, saved translations. So as you can see, this takes up a lot of space and sometimes you can make it smaller so that it doesn't take up that much space. I'm actually going to remove this big one and see, and as you can see, all I did was just hold on to that widget right there and then move it upwards to that remove bar at the top, automatically just shows up there. And if you swipe it enough, it will just absolutely delete itself. So that's how I did that. But other things that you can do is hold on to the widget just the same way that I'm doing it the entire time and move it around. You can move it onto different areas of the screen. And like I was showing originally, you can change the size of it. So you can make this extremely large. You can make it small. Sometimes you can make it narrow. So I love that capability as well with the widgets. It's very customizable, but you can probably tell from all of these different widgets, everything is very customizable and everything has its own style based on the functionality of the app itself. So Google Calendar, when they were creating these widgets, they created it within Google Calendar. It's not like, say for example, if you have an iPhone and you're using the widget options or the third party widget options that make everything look uniform in the same color. Here, the widgets, their design, their aesthetic is purely based off of how the apps were built and how their widgets were built uh, individual 
to the apps. Does that make sense? Like, as you can see, I'm not using a third party service here in order to get my widgets to upload. And so they don't all look exactly the same. They do uh, have a variety. For example, Duolingo is bright and green. It has the little logo. Fitbit has its uh, trademark teal color. Uh, this, what widget was this? I don't even remember which one this was. I think it was Yelp. It looks like the Yelp search bar. So it's not gonna look 100% aesthetic. If you wanna do that, you can do third-party apps. I have never obviously needed to do that on a Google Pixel phone or an Android phone because why? Um, but if you do want to make it look aesthetic, that's definitely a reason why, and you can absolutely do that. There are also some widgets that come straight within the phone, such as weather. And as you can see, the color, it's not loading because I need to go in and load my location. But as you can see, the color of the widget is brown because the way that I have the phone set up in terms of color palette in the settings it is brown and neutral colors. So there is a bit of aesthetic uh, color palettes going on, but that is definitely just system-based, not app-based, if that makes sense. So uh, let's see if I can actually create something that looks pretty here. Again, I am just holding on to the widgets or the apps and creating a spread if if you think about it that way let's see there we go i don't mind showing <laughs> my calendar there oh the screen just got blurry but there you go so you can really move uh move things around and make it what you will for example this is what i have with one widget it takes up the entire screen but that's exactly what i want because i want it to be a massive calendar so that i can look at everything on a monthly view and yeah that's pretty much widgets i don't think there are anything else that i can kind of show you but i'm just going to show you the menu really quickly again Pretty simple, if I do say so. I love that it is just incorporated within the phone. Why isn't it swiping down? I love that it's incorporated within the phone so that I don't have to worry about manually ent entering these widget things into a third party and then adding it to the screen. You can just go to the menu and it's there always. All right, friends, I'll be honest, my hand kind of hurts from extending it for that long of a period. My arms are really short, so being able to put it in front of the camera was a task, but I hope it was helpful seeing it like live me scrolling on my actual phone and having the recording next to it. Let me know which one was more preferable because I will definitely move forward with that with other videos, but if you have any questions about widgets in general or any other functionality, tools, etc. about the Google Pixel phones, let me know. Uh, just a note about widgets in general, I know Android phones have had widgets for a long time. That has just been something that has been a default for Android phones for years, and I know iPhones have widgets now. I think they work completely different if I'm not mistaken. And the last time that I've used an iPhone, because I'm sure you've heard that the example that I said shortly when I was doing the demo, uh, the version of the widgets that I use in iPhones, which was years ago, was that you needed to go through a third party app in order to create widgets manually and then add them to the screen. So I'm sure that's not the case anymore. I'm sure that's like a built in functionality now. So just, just want to acknowledge that I know that because I know people are going to come into my comments and start making statements and I'm aware. That is all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for being here. I will talk to you in next week's video.